morning. My name is Ariel Small. I'm 16 years old and I'm a sophomore at Highland Park High School. I also have Tourette's Syndrome. I mentioned that last because I've worked hard not to let that define who I am. Hey, it's hard. <sighs> you've had a condition that you've had to deal with your whole life. Were you ever ashamed of your condition? I couldn't understand why I was the one. And to be honest, I felt like maybe God has something in mind. Maybe, you know, this is something he wants me to deal with. The principal called me to tell me that there had been this incident. My heart just absolutely dropped. I was contemplating things like suicide or, or running away. When he told me that he just didn't think he could go on, I was really nervous. I wasn't sure what he meant by that. You know, he thought that I didn't have Tourette's that Tourette's was just an excuse for bad behavior. And I was determined to never have an experience where I wouldn't be able to advocate for myself. This is pretty interesting. A North Suburban teenager is speaking out about living with Tourette's syndrome. Have you ever thought that Tourette's would derail your dream or sabotage your goals at all? Yeah. I did think that for a while, but James Durbin, that's who I am, you know. And the most important thing that you can do in life is take the disorder and put it over here and just focus on the person because that's really who we are. There's no telling what we can do. I saw rock stars, I saw people on stage, that's gonna be me. And I just got off a show the week after week I was performing for 30 million people. Different is the new norm. Validate, advocate, and educate. Those are my three goals. Thank you.